Sarajevo. Warm, overcast. Clouds scrape the tops of the southern hills. The city rapidly recedes, gradually wakes. Parallel to the Milyatska, flanked by a tram. Minarets. Chimneys. Pine. Rolling green hills and cleavages, peppered with houses. Jagged edged skyline of concrete blocks soars the sky. Another fallen building, peeled wings. Mount Igman looms, its summit concealed. Road crosses the river of its country's namesake. Scattered houses now, peopled by shrouded men's straw. Pillbox stands sentinel, perched above a verdant swathe of pine, and houses more recently blackened, and those more recent still, built to replace the fallen. Rusted cars richly patinated return to the soil, driven into a ditch. Tito. Road follows a winding cleft a river valley carved by ancient currents. Gentle fields of cultivation, those neglected, blooded with poppies. Figure scythes in a tiny clearing, bridges, tunnels, viaducts. Road traverses a wide, steely green lake, receiving and reflecting the great sweeping hills overwhelming the fringe of small dwellings. Crossing the Neretva exposes the distant range of mountains, blue cast, brooding, deep valley gorge inhabited by pylons and ghosts, and fish farms. River between two roads, all roads lead to Mostar, black cypresses, White gravestones, verticals in a flattened plain. Colourful billboards advertise soap powder. Even the mountain is pockmarked. The old bridge recreated, painted on a wall. Front line bell tower territory. On the radio, this is the road to hell. Roadside littered with little monuments and car parts, scattered settlements suddenly grow, unfinished but ownership claimed by ethnic graffiti, invisible borders known only by those who live here, vegetation thinning, flag anticipates the border, the UN's looks pale and tired, nothing stirs, fishing men, pleasure boats, tethered cow, lazily grazes, and pine woods patch the hillside. Road rises and skirts a cultivated plain. Rocky outcrops shape the fields and water channels around them. Terraced olives. Dubrovnik is your friend. Finger of a peninsula pokes the sea and points accusingly at a short stretch of overdeveloped coast. The sea breaks open, warm breeze, breathing in the heady scent of herbs mixed with evergreens. I lie back and fill my eyes with sky. Ston. Coursing the artery of this peninsula, little shade. Villages of stone grow organically from the hills, or dug from the earth. Small windows look out on a parched distance until the land falls away. The razor-edged mainland reveals itself in the shimmering haze. A road sign used for target practice. Prickly pear, cactus, vineyards. Coca-Cola as ubiquitous as the crucifix. Crossing sides, we plunge down into the town. Arabich clings to the shore in fear of the mountains nudging it into the sea, resisting the advancing scrub. The boat pulls out. Ultramarine. Emerald. 
black. The white surf parts. Kolchina. Axis of the old town points to the new world. Sheltered from the Bura. 25 minutes walks every street. Shimmering reds, white walls crystallized at the sea's edge. Bleached olive greens. The sea takes on a new intensity. The landscape unwinds between two blue layers. The horizon ahead is curved. White sails drifting in a blue calm. Clouds above, unmoved. Zigzag road stitches the mountains together, gradually tapering, increasingly sparse. Vapor trail is the sky's shoreline. The lighthouse, a full stop. Starboard side leaves the shade, and the mainland comes into focus. Split. Tragedy to Shippenik. To Shippenik. Lines of stone drawn down to the sea anchor the mainland. Its undulations are ribbed. Fish picnic. Threat and put. Good luck. A new marina agitates its surroundings. From Slaurin Island, the distant layered hills are terraced in rows. Fertile soil for growing settlements on this carless island. A new road, empty, abruptly halts, continues for now as a small woodland path. Pine cones decorate bare trees, dense and deadly packed. Needles carpet the ground, waves shape the shore. Young growth clings to ancient rocks. Mariner's memorial speaks only to the sea. A clear glass bottle contains no message. Rain hangs the sunflower's head, and further on, where the path becomes unpassable, gun emplacements still keep a wide-eyed vigil on a view long since obscure. Above the cove, labyrinthine walls thread through wild grasses, where every bush and branch is barbed. Stone piles look down on a huddle of houses, walls become streets and individual rooms. Gradually the plan of an ancient settlement is imagined, until the summit gained and a surviving bunker steps down into the earth. The concrete is inscribed with names. Velimir, Tomislav, that the wind carries down the descending goat's path. Vegetation follows the rock's fracture, rising and dipping in waves. Solitary figure waves from an uninhabited island. Approaching the town, houses barnacle encrusted on the hull of a hill. Shibbenik to Zada. Road travels through an empty wilderness, little chapels, quarries, roadsides. Each town centre approached through the industrial zone, disfiguring, desolate, sprawling. Bright green leaves cast purple shadows on my sprawling tent. Zada. Zada. City walled and wide moated, punctured in places to allow the worn, smooth, gleaming streets to breathe, on which bell towers cast long shadows, stretching back to when the Romans carved their fluted columns now segmented into sturdy foundations. A midsummer wedding blares past boats, beached on stilts. The air becomes their sea, but is failing nowhere. Writers write their names in the names of the streets. Ivan Tanslinger, Marta Karamana, Franja Alfirovich. Zara to Oglian. Crossing a diamond-studded sea. Look out for a small island, a church, a palm tree. Boatman pushes out from the quay. Monastery Island, six minutes measures the circumference. Across the water lies a low-lying city, its church towers and tower blocks clearly etched and illuminated. 
Zadar overshadowed by the Venabid, whose limestone peaks are barely distinguishable from clouds, now almost lost to view. Twilight. A necklace of lights decorates the distant city's shoreline. A silken sea broached by fishing boats, nets cast. Only the ferry, pink-tinged, ripples the stillness. Monastery Island looks dark and foreboding. That night becomes the Isle of the Dead. The first row of stars appears. Zara Turienka Rows of empty roadside stalls. Fruit still languishes in trees. Impact craters patch the only road, hugging a convoluted coast and screened by the weight of the crumbling velvet. While across the sea, a long stretched pink strip of land, wind blown, stripped of soil and vegetation, grows only stones in fields enclosed by stones. Kilometer stone, 354. Road signs caution rock fall and prevailing wind. Inhospitable, unsustainable terrain. Viaducts. Goat bridges. Wayside flowers of plastic. Crossing the 45th parallel that same. The road straightens, the hills soften, the stones become concealed. Kilometre stone, 243. Eternal flame burns from the oil refinery as we circumvent the shipyard. Marco Polo, Liburnia, and descend into Rieka. Rieka to Zagreb. Forging through clefts of rock, a rhythmic ascent skirts the valley and leaves behind the sea and islands. Rounding rounded hills pin pricked by occasional outcrops, a shepherd watches sheep with binoculars. Lines and cables crisscross the hillside. The foliage changes texture, forests densely foliated. Oak, beech, silver birch. Rocks yield to bracken and soft grasses. Fields become pollen-covered meadows. Murovice. Stations are wood-stacked and hedge-trimmed. Tapped wheels chime. Where villages appear, meadows become fields, cultivated and scarecrowed. Sap green. Golden green. Viridian green. Rivers only seen when crossed. Leg from a distance, familiar from all sides. Ogling. Unrepentant motorway, unfinished, ploughs the forest against the grain. The landscape flattens and views open up, punctuated by pillboxes, following a river's flow. Fields scythed and burnt in patches, increasingly tamed. The emperor's glow is the land setting sun. Houses, randomly placed and spaced. Caravan. The sky enlargens. In the distance, the blue hills of Yabotic approach. Then Sliema silhouettes itself against a falling sky. All the greens darken. Crossing the Sava, the city is ended. Zagreb.